Frugal Coda here. Today, let's talk about a stack of ThinkPads. They are heavy. So I just purchased the P14S, and I feel it might be a good idea to revisit the list of ThinkPads I've owned during the past years, just to see what has changed and what has remained the same. So on the list, we have the T61. I used it as my primary computing device in college. And we have the W520. I used it as work computer in my first job for almost four years. I quite like it. Next is the P440S. I purchased it on eBay as my portable computing device. But I'm not quite satisfied with that. And recently, I bought the T14S. So three of these laptops are from the T series. One is from the W series. In case you don't know, the W series is the workstation series, similar to the current P series offering Lenovo has. Lenovo also makes those cheaper version of ThinkPads, and you know, they cut corners here and there. They brand them as ThinkPad, so customer is willing to pay. But in my opinion, you don't get the perfect ThinkPad experience on those devices. I'm going to talk about some areas that remains unchanged or even better across those generations. And I'll also share some goodies that are missing on newer version of ThinkPads. Unchanged, number one the build quality. Lenovo did a very good job at building those machines. They are premium, sturdy, and they do hold their quality over years. The oldest T61 is over 10 years old now, but there is nowhere flaky, wobbling, or wiggling. The hinge still holds the screen in position, and the keyboard and track point responses in the same way while they are new. ThinkPad is probably the most long-lasting Windows laptop. You can see a lot of old ThinkPads on sale on eBay. And I personally think they are great value if their performance and battery life is adequate for your use case and you don't mind do some DIY job for the upgrade. Unchanged, number two, the track point. I'm the track point guy. I like the feeling of not having to move my hand away from keyboard area to move the cursor. If you are a programmer using the Vim editor, you probably understand the feeling that you don't need to move your hand away to the arrow key area to move the cursor. The track point is preserved across these generation, and the feeling is very similar. Except for one device though, the T440S. Lenovo did a terrible job by swapping out the three buttons with a unibody plastic trackpad. You need to press different areas on the trackpad instead of physical separated buttons. This resulted in massively wrong clicking, and the feedback from that trackpad is simply terrible. Fortunately, Lenovo reverted the design back in the next generation, so hopefully Lenovo won't make such mistakes in future. Unchanged, number three, the ports. Lenovo tries to fit most commonly used ports on those ThinkPads, and this has remained the same across generations. We generally have two to three USB-A ports, at least two display outputs like HDMI display ports, VGA or USB-C. We also have Ethernet jack, full-size SD card reader on older models. Unfortunately, Lenovo has to give them up on newer, thinner ThinkPads. They just took too much space. I think it's the right decision to keep these ports compared to just leave USB-C ports and leave all the inconvenience to customers because you always have a lot of devices to connect to, like printers, projectors, routers. It's very annoying that you just need that tiny piece of adapter to connect when you are in a hurry, like 
printing a document, or presenting in front of a meeting room. ThinkPad will definitely save you from such a situation. Better, number one, the power consumption. The power consumption dropped massively across those generations. The P61 has an idle power of 20 watt. W520 consumes around the same. T440S consumes between 8 to 11 watt. And the latest T14S consumes just between 5 to 9 watt. The idle power consumption is the single most important factor to affect battery life, in my opinion, because when you use your laptop on battery, most of the time the laptop is idle or on the light workload. So speaking of the battery life, back in the T61 days, the laptop lasts for one to two hours. For W520, I could achieve three to four hours. For T440S, I could achieve almost full day battery life. And with the T14S, I can also achieve the same battery life. If I bring a power bank with me and charge the laptop using USB-C, I could extend it even further. Better, number two, the weight. Similar to the power consumption, the weight also dropped dramatically across those generations. On the older model of ThinkPads, the ABS plastic material is used and those are sturdy but heavy materials. On later version of ThinkPads, Lenovo use alloy to replace the old ABS material and the laptops are getting thinner and lighter. All right, we've talked so many about the good things. Now let's come to the flip side. Let's talk about some nice features that are missing on those newer generation of ThinkPads. Missing, number one, the classic seven row ThinkPad keyboard. I think this is the most missed feature for me personally for ThinkPad. It might be a personal preference, but I feel the seven row classic ThinkPad keyboard is just so much better to use compared to the nowadays six row ThinkPad keyboard. The main reason I like the classic 7-row keyboard is on those special function keys, such as the page up, down, home, and keys. On a 7-row keyboard, those keys are in a position similar to a normal desktop keyboard, and you don't need to memorize where they are. But it's very hard to find those keys on a 6-row keyboard. I always mispress the page up and page down because they're just so close to the arrow keys and I have to look at the keyboard to ensure I press the correct key for home and end. As a programmer, I honestly find this is very interrupting while I was typing the code. Lenovo did release a modified version of T470. They branded it as the ThinkPad 25 year anniversary and that laptop has the seven row classic keyboard. So technically, I think it's possible to redo that keyboard on later version of ThinkPad. I really wish Lenovo could bring it back as a optional feature to config on their website. Missing number two, memory upgradability. I think people may argue that in order to achieve the ultra portability and larger battery on today's laptop, you have to sacrifice the upgradability so that things could be packed closer to each other to fit in a smaller footage. But I think some people just want to sacrifice the other way around. They probably don't need such ultra portability but they do want the ability to upgrade the machines. Unfortunately, today, the option to upgrade is becoming more and more limited on ThinkPads. The T61 has two memory slots to upgrade. The W520 has four memory slots. The T440S has one memory slot and a onboard four gigabyte soldered RAM and on the T14S, there is no memory slots. All the memory is just soldered on the motherboard. 
As a programmer, I need to add more RAM to the machine. I normally open multiple power hungry apps plus over 50-ish browser tabs and I switch between them. All of these things needs memory. On the old days, I just drop by my company's IT department and ask them to do a memory upgrade for me. But nowadays, I could only purchase a new computer. Missing number three, swappable battery. Again, this is another feature killed by the recent trend of thinner and lighter laptops. On the older version of ThinkPads, you can just swap the old battery out and plug in a new one. But on the latest T14S, the battery is internal. It's less of an issue today because the power draw of today's laptop is very low and you can easily charge the laptop using a power bank and USB-C cable. But still, I think it's a nice to have feature. And after a couple of years of use, the battery can drop capacity. If it's swappable, you can just easily buy a new battery, but with internal batteries, you can't do that. Fortunately, I think today, it's still quite straightforward to change even the internal battery. Lenovo didn't do some crazy design as MacBooks to glue all the battery all together. So it's still doable to swap it yourself. Let's hope Lenovo keep it that way in next years. Okay, that's all for today's video. Hope you folks like it. If you have any thoughts, leave the comment below. Stay tuned and see you next time.